The Hyundai Elantra has been one of the big success stories for the South Korean car company. A decade ago, it wasn't even mentioned in the same sentence as Civic and Corolla, but today, it's one of the best-selling compact cars. It's one of the best-selling Hyundais, one of the best-looking cars on the road, and one of the most fuel-efficient, too. So what happens when Hyundai changes that winning formula? I'm Marty Padgett. We're going to let you know today as we go for our first drive of the 2017 Hyundai Elantra. Hyundai's made styling a calling card with the last Elantra. This time it's smoothed out a lot of the brash details, just like it did with the latest Sonata. The new Elantra has more presence with a wider, deeper grille, but it's also simpler and cleaner and, to some of us, a little less attractive. The C-shaped cut lines in the rear doors are muted and the kicky roof line has been tamed. Inside, the Elantra's cabin is a dead ringer for the one in the latest Sonata. It's built along horizontal themes with a large space reserved under the simple dash for a touchscreen canted slightly toward the driver. It's more subdued, but it has a more substantial feel. By the numbers, the Elantra is about an inch longer and wider than before, while its wheelbase remains the same. It's roughly the same size as Honda's new Civic, and they're both actually mid-sized cars if you go by government rules. That means excellent front seat room, even for bigger drivers, and better seat comfort too, with more bolstering on the bottom cushion. In the back seat, you've got a lot more room than you do in some rivals. Now, the seat itself isn't shaped quite as nicely as the front seats, but there's enough headroom and enough knee room in here for me to be really comfortable. I'm about six feet tall. The Elantra does have a lot of black plastic trimming the doors, but it also has a lot of sound damping. For an economy car, it's pretty quiet inside, even under full throttle. What's the new Elantra like to drive? Well, it's the Sonata story all over again. What it gives up in slick styling hooks, the Elantra gains in smoothness and in comfort. Power comes from a two-liter four-cylinder with 147 horsepower delivered through a six-speed automatic and tuned for better fuel economy. It's up to 38 miles per gallon highway. Acceleration is moderate, but the Elantra doesn't mind revving near redline to extract that power. The automatic doesn't have paddle shift controls, so for manual style gear changes, you have to move to the console lever. There's also an Echo model with a 128 horsepower turbo four and a seven-speed dual clutch transmission. It matches the Honda Civic's 35 miles per gallon EPA combined rating. Compared to the Focus or even the Honda Civic, the Elantra doesn't make sporty road manners a priority. It does let the driver choose from Echo, Normal, and Sport tuning for the steering, transmission, and throttle, but it's telling that the Normal mode feels best suited to its new levels of refinement. The suspension has been redesigned for better ride quality and more stable steering. It's composed, but not overly firm at all. The Elantra doesn't beg to be thrashed like a Mazda 3, but it doesn't punish you either for choosing a back road over a freeway. There's no crash test data yet, but Hyundai is aiming for top ratings from the IIHS and the NHTSA. A rear view camera is available on most models. Advanced safety options include adaptive cruise control, lane keeping assist, and forward collision warnings with automatic braking. Priced from about $18,000, the new Hyundai Elantra comes standard with power features, cruise control, Bluetooth, and USB ports. Options include navigation, premium audio, and a smartphone connectivity package. Fully loaded, the Elantra is priced from about $27,500. So what's the bottom line with the 2017 Hyundai Elantra? Well, it's lost some of its bold and brash looks, but it's now one of the most refined economy cars on the road. I'm Marty Padgett. Thanks for coming along for the ride.